What is good, YouTube? It is your boy Skidder, and as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm bringing back my favorite build from last year, y'all. I'm going to be making my pure point forward again on NBA 2K21. Now, as y'all know, if you watch me, um, if you watch my 2K20 videos, I had a point forward. I was just, it was my favorite build, bro. So I'm super excited to make this build on 21. Hopefully, it's as good as it was last year. I was. I, I don't mean to like brag, but I was really good on the build last year. Oh, that's the wrong pie chart. That's awkward. My bad. Um, you gotta pick the pure yellow pie chart. This one right here, cause if you're gonna be a small forward in six seven, you gotta you gotta have the pure playmaking. Um, you gotta pick the pure speed pie chart. Pure speed. You gotta, cause you need as much speed as possible. You um, max out close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, and you put standing dunk at twenty seven, so you get four finishing badges. You get four on this build. Well. I just said that, my bad. But um, so for shooting, you max out mid-range, three-point shot, free throw, and you put post fade up to 60. So you get 14 shooting badges on this build, which is one less than last year, but you don't have quick draw. So in the long run, it's more shooting badges than we got last year. So y'all know I, I didn't miss on my point for it last year. So who knows? It's gonna go crazy this year. You put um pass accuracy up to 86, and you max out ball handle. So you still get 30 playmaking badges. That's the difference between the small forward and the point guard pure yellow you have to max out pass accuracy ball handle and like post moves so like the small forward is glitchy for this you max out in perimeter defense lateral quickness steal block defensive rebound and then you put the rest on offense rebounds you get the 42 so you get four finishing 14 shooting 30 playmaking which is more than last year last year i think we got 24 and then we get eight defensive which is one more than we got last year we got seven defensive badges last year so the only thing that's less is the finishing badges, which is one less. So I, I should just be going even more crazy on this build this year. But yeah, y'all, you can pick whatever body type you like. I usually like going define. You can go build, whatever. I don't care. But I go define. So you gotta go six seven because six eight you lose a lot of three pointers, a lot of ball handle and stuff. It is definitely not worth it. And a lot of speed. So you gotta go six seven. Don't go six six because you might as well just make it a point guard at that point. So you go six seven. You gotta go one eighty eight. All right, I'm going one eighty eight because. If you look at the stats, you can tell why I'm going 188. You get the most speed, most excel, but you also get them like, you see how the strength just goes down to 43 and your speed and excel stays the same. So that's why I put it to 188 instead of minimum. For wingspan, I'm going 82 so I can get the plus one three pointer. I know you would think just max it out, but nah, you get that 69 three pointer in them. You know, Mike Wing was talking about how it's going to be harder to shoot with a lower three pointer this year. So we don't know if he's right or not, but. I don't want to max out the wingspan. I'm going to go 82.0, which is two ticks down from default. Minimum, you get that 70. So you only get one less. Yeah. 82.0 wingspan because you still got decent long arms. You're 6'7", so you're going to be getting... You're tall anyway. You're going to have these long arms get the passing lane steals. You get a choice of playmaking, shot creating, and slashing takeover. You already know I'm going to go playmaking. You all saw me drop people last year on my point forward. Now, I can never finish the clips, but... um, <sighs> Pain. But um, I'm going to finish my clips this year. It's uh, raining out, so I don't know if y'all can hear that, but um, I can't really do anything about that. I'm trying to grind these videos out for y'all. This is probably my last 2K21 demo video anyway. See, this video's going up on Wednesday. I'm going to take Thursday off, and then Friday when the game comes out, I'm going to be going crazy. Maybe even double uploads every day for the first couple weeks of 2K21. But yeah, y'all, play make and take over. My bad for taking so long for that. But um, you have built a point forward. Y'all know I love that name. I've had a Y'all know this, but I've had a point forward every year since 2K17, which... That was my first 2K. I had a point forward, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then now 21. This is my fifth year in a row with a point forward. As you see, Kelly Oubre. Hey, bro, that's all I need. Let's get, <laughs> no, let's get into these badges. All right, y'all. As you know, we test all of our builds at 99 overall, which is 95 this year, but you know what I'm saying. Let's get into these badges. I get four finishing badges, which is more than usual. I'm probably going to do, like, Silver Contact, Bronze Slithery, and bronze relentless or something like that something like that maybe maybe gold contact i don't know we'll see i need to know what the badges are which badges are good this year yeah this rain's getting louder so i'm sorry if you can hear that but um like i said i can't really do anything about it shooting badges gold range gold hot zone silver 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 my bad silver green machine silver tireless um actually i might go green or not green gold dead eye and then bronze hot start something like this you see this is the badge setup i go for park and I'm just leaving for that, even though it's the demo, we don't have any hot zones, I'm still leave it like this. These are the badges I'm going to use. 30 playmaking, so he's a lot more than we got last year. Last year we got 24 as a point forward. I'm going to go Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame handles for days. Silver unpluckable, depending on if it's good this year, might go Hall of Fame, who knows, might even go to bronze, I'm going to stick silver. Hall of Fame tight handles, Hall of Fame space creator. 
I'm gonna try out Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker because I have not been able to catch ankles in the demo. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been able to. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna test out Ankle Breaker this one. And then, bro, I got so many bags. I still got six upgrades. I would go Hall of Fame Floor General and Park, or maybe even Gold, because I don't really like the percentages like that, but I'm not gonna do that in the demo. I'll do Gold, Needle Threader, and, um, shoot, I mean, bro, this is so many playmaking badges. Hall of Fame Bailout, Gold Unpluckable, why not, bro? You know, these are the badges I'm gonna use. So many, I'm so excited to have 30 playmaking badges this year. Y'all know, I love me my playmaking badges. I can never have enough playmaking badges. Trust me. And for the eight defending, gold clamps, gold intimidator, probably bronze pick dodger and bronze rim protector. That's what I do. Um, maybe, maybe instead of pick dodger, do chase down so I can get some animations. But in park, definitely pick dodger because you finna be dodging all those screens from the, the glass cleaners and paint bees this year. But yeah, y'all, I think I'm gonna get into some clips for y'all. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, we're gonna get into testing this build. You see the one turnover. It's because I was messing with my... Oh, they gave me a good step back, too. But they gave me a bad hezzy, and I um went backwards. So that's why you see the turnover. Oh, I got Brook Lopez on me. Let me see. Oh, behind the back. Let me do it. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, yes, sir. Let me just blow right by him. Yes, sir. Yo, this build's so fast. I'm not gonna lie. I felt that speed. But yeah, y'all. We're gonna try to get in some passing clips here. What's the point for? We gotta pass. Oh, yes, sir. Give me that board. Y'all see? We got the point for it. It's 6-7, bro. We finna be grabbing boards. I still don't know how to do that behind the back or the between the legs. And oh, they got Brook Lopez on me. I'm gone, bro. Late. L1. Come on. Brook Lopez can't keep up with the point forward. Why they got me on him? All right, y'all. I'm gonna hit this free throw for y'all in the video. Come on. Green. Y'all, this build's like that, bro. Come on. Let's get in another clip. All right, y'all. I need this. Oh, yo, they, bro. They just leave me wide open. Oh, good pass. Look at that. Yo, y'all see that no look pass, bro? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know Paul George, bro. Like, this build might be even more OP than it was last year. Let me find out. All right, I was going to be the last clip before I show y'all this build with TakeOver. Because I'm going to get TakeOver this game. Oh, look. Y'all see that blow by and then the J Like, that's Chris Middleton. He's one of the NBA's gr best defenders in the league right now. But yeah, y'all. Let me let me get TakeOver for y'all and show y'all that. All right, y'all. As you can see, I was able to get TakeOver near the end of the quarter. So we probably have this clip and then the start of the second quarter. Let me see. Bro, like, I'm trying to get it. Like, how do you get ankle breaker animations this year? Is there something special you got to do? Like, what? Like, y'all see this, bro? Like, they just don't drop. I have Hall of Fame ankle breaker space creator and tight handles on. Like, what else do I need, bro? Please tell me. We'll see if we can get a clip in the second quarter. Because I should saw some left. All right, y'all. We got a little bit of takeover left to see the start of the second quarter. Come here. Yo, what, bro? Like, how do you drop people this year? I want to know. Like, please. Half spin? Snatch? I feel like that would have been it. Not going to lie. I mean... You're telling me he didn't drop there. Let me find out. Let me dial Marcus Morris off play take and let me find. Oh, good board, Zubash. Drop me back. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Zubash, I'm wide open, bro. Let me show you all the shooting on this build. That's tough. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching the video. I'm not glad that was probably the best game I played in this demo out of all the games I played because I shot seven for eight. The one shot I missed was that three pointer you saw. But yeah, y'all. Overall, great build. It's definitely the best build I've made so far, bro. Like, say if y'all know me from last year, I love my point forward. I love my my speed boost and small forward. As you can see. These are the two best slasher builds in the game. If you haven't watched those videos, make sure you go check them out. This is my small ball big man build. Make sure you go check that video out if you haven't. And I got several other demo videos. This is not my only account that I've been using, y'all. So, yeah, y'all, like I said, this is probably my last 2K21 demo video because it's Wednesday. I'm going to take Thursday off and come back Friday with a bang of videos. I'm going to be going to the park the first day of 2K21. Y'all are going to see that. And I don't know. I'm going to think of more video ideas for day one and day, you know, the first few days. But, yeah, y'all. Make sure you follow my Twitter. It'll pop up on screen right here. You can get in contact with me there. Find out what videos are dropping, when they're dropping. And yeah, y'all. Like I said, go check out that playlist. It'll pop up right in your top right corner of my 2K21 builds. Go check out all my videos. And yeah, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.